Hey everyone, this is Adam from Figmatic and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your text content from Figma into a Microsoft Excel document. And we're going to be doing this by using a plugin called CopyDoc. And if you haven't already done so, if you just jump into the Figma community and search for the word CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C. And under the plugins tab, you'll see a result called CopyDoc pop up. And if you go ahead and click on the install button on the right hand side, uh, you'll be ready to go. Um, so you can use any Figma file that uh, you like. At the moment, I'm just using this movie app. Um, the only thing to bear in mind is you will need um, at least one frame, uh, one Figma frame with some text content in it for this to work. Um, so the first thing we need to do is just right click anywhere, go down to plugins and click on copy doc. And that's just going to fire up the plugin we just installed a second ago. And I'm not going to go through any of these other features. Um, there's other tutorials on our channel for all of these. Um, today, we're just going to be looking at uh, exporting this Figma content into an Excel file. Um, so to do that, we just have to click on the Export Frames button under the Export Figma Frames uh, menu item. So that's uh, a menu item to export your Figma designs to popular document formats, including Microsoft Excel. So I'm just going to click on Export Frames. And under the drop down, uh, you can see we've got a whole bunch of different options here. Uh, and if you just click on the Microsoft Excel or Excel XS extension um, and select that, that's going to select the Microsoft Excel format for you. Um, so there's really only a couple of options here. Uh, one option is just to include design references. So that basically means that uh, all of these frames that you select to export will also just get a little JPEG file exported just as a bit of a design reference um, so you can see what relates to what in the Excel file. Uh, and the other option we have is to export a single Excel spreadsheet file per frame. Uh, so if we leave this option unchecked, which it, which it is by default, um, this is basically going to export your Microsoft Excel file with each frame from Figma in a separate tab at the bottom of the file. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Um, the other thing we can do is just select what frames we actually want to include in the Excel file. Um, so you can do that by either clicking on the frames in Figma and sort of filtering down that list, uh, or you can just uncheck and check these layers manually as well. Um, so we'll just check a few in here. You can sort the frames. Uh, if you wanted to sort them into a different order, you can definitely do that. Um, you can do custom sorting, so you can actually drag, uh, drag these frames manually. Um, but for now, I'm just going to kind of leave them in a default order and do it visually by columns. So once you've selected your frames and the ordering, all you need to do is click on the export Excel XS button. And that's going to go ahead and export the selected frames to an Excel file. So it's very quick. Uh, the export's already finished. So now we just have to click on the download Excel XS export button. And I'm just going to save that to my desktop. And if I now go to my desktop and you can see the zip files popped up, I'm just going to double click on the zip file to unzip it. And we got two different files in here. So we got a designs folder. So that was the folder I mentioned with all of our designs. And these are really just JPEG references um, that you can open up. And this is really just purely for if you're looking at the Excel file and you're not in Figma, this is just a quick way to see uh, roughly which text relates to what frame and where it might be located on the frame. So that's your design references folder. And now we have our Excel XS uh, file as well. So I'm just going to double click on that and that's going to open up uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, just click on yes for this if it pops up with this alert. Um, it, it does that sometimes. So you can just click yes and that will open it. Just click on view. Um, it does this sometimes if your Figma file has weird line breaks and uh, different characters in it that Excel usually doesn't um, usually doesn't like, but you can just click on view and it'll be totally fine. So I'm just going to resize the file uh, window so you can actually see what's going on here. And you can see at the bottom here we've got all these different tabs. So these are the tabs that relate to your Figma frames. So the frames that we selected in the menu have all been exported. And you can see here I can switch between all of them and, uh, and look through all the con content. Um, so these are in alphabetical order as well. So you're basically getting, uh, well, in, case, in the case of numbers, the numbers will be at the top 
and it'll sort it by alphabetical order. So you can very easily kind of audit uh, the text in your frames. And if there's any duplicate text layers, so if there's any text layers in your Figma file that are identical, it will automatically group those into a single layer. So if your um, Figma frame had, you know, 20 different layers that all said movies in capitals, it's gonna merge those into a single layer in your Excel spreadsheet. Um, that's just so you don't have, you know, 50 layers of the same text in there, which is, which is kind of not that useful. Um, so that's what that looks like. And I'll just show you what it looks like if we just rerun uh, that as well in uh, the plugin. So I'm just gonna click on export frames and I'm just gonna rerun it with the Excel uh, file per frame option set and just rerun the export by clicking on export Excel SX. And that's just gonna export the frame again. And this time, instead of exporting it to a single Excel file, if we jump back onto our desktop and open up the new zip file, uh, you can see this time we actually have a whole bunch of different Excel files. Um, so it's split out each frame from Figma into its own Microsoft Excel file instead of merging them all into the single Excel file using the tabs at the bottom to navigate them. So now we can open up these individually by just double clicking on them. And I'll just resize the window again. I'm not sure why it keeps going full screen. Um, and you can see here, this time we only have one tab, which is just called Figma text. And we've got all the same text layers that we saw in our tabbed version, uh, the original version, but this is in a single uh, Microsoft Excel file um, instead. So that's just an alternative option. If you did need to actually split the frames out into multiple Excel files, instead of just uh, having it in the one file with the tab navigation at the bottom, uh, there's some use cases where you would, you'd probably prefer it like this, um, but for most of the time, uh, I'd imagine you'd probably want them all uh, easily navigatable and searchable uh, in a single Excel file. So those are basically the two options that you have for exporting your text from Figma to Microsoft Excel. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a very quick tutorial today, um, just covering this one feature in the CopyDoc plugin. There's obviously other formats you can export to, um, which will be covered in other video tutorials. But today, uh, I just wanted to run through really quickly the uh, process of exporting your content from Figma to Microsoft Excel um, or XLXS uh, documents. And uh, it's just worth being mindful of uh, the fact that this is just using the X frame, export frames feature and it's not actually using the export text layers feature. And just really briefly, the difference between those two is if you do export your frames uh, using the export frames feature to this Excel, um, Microsoft Excel file from Figma, um, you won't be able to re-import the Excel export from Figma back into Figma using the CopyDoc import feature. Um, so that's just a really important distinction between these two features. The export Figma text layers feature, which I've covered in other uh, tutorials on our channel, um, this does allow you to export your text layers to CSV files, JSON files, XLIF files, things like that. Um, and then you can actually edit those files outside of Figma and re-import them and it will update the text layers automatically. Um, so that totally works for CSV, JSON and XLIF, um, but it does not uh, work for Excel files. So really the uh, Figma to Microsoft Excel feature is really just for using um, for other purposes that don't involve re-importing the text later uh, back into Figma um, from Microsoft Excel. So I just wanted to flag that in case you're wondering uh, why it's not allowing you to drag and drop your Excel file back into Figma, um, that's the reason. So if you do need to do that, uh, I'd recommend using the other export Figma text layers feature and then re-importing the uh, CSV file, for example, back in if you do need to update it. Um, but otherwise, feel free to use the uh, export Microsoft Excel feature if you do just need to get all of your Figma text out into a you know massive uh, Excel file and you just want to kind of audit it or you want to send it around for approval or something like that, then the Microsoft Excel option um, might actually be the one that you're looking for. Um, so I hope that's clear. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comments and I can get back to you. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've been wondering how to export your Figma designs to Excel, um, this is a really quick way to go about it. And um, hopefully you can get some benefit from it in your own workflows and uh, projects. So um, as always, thank you for watching and we'll be back very soon with more Figma tutorials just like this one.